Hello, IT Pros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable DOS USB drive. So for that end, I'm, and on this computer is running Windows 10, but you, you might notice that the icons are, are a little bigger. So the reason for that is I changed the resolution, so it's lower, but the icons are bigger. So you can see it better when I do uh, different things. So the MS-DOS or disk operating system is something that Windows uh, use up to, if I remember correctly, Windows Millennium. And after that, uh, Windows Vista uh, stopped using it. So you can see that kind of emulated on the Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8. Um, well, we don't use it that much. So why do we need to create this? And the reason is simple. Uh, sometimes when you want to update the BIOS version of uh, uh, of a computer, you can do it using this tool, okay? So, uh, for example, you don't have to access Windows or Linux or whatever other operating system. Well, those two are maybe <laughs> the most popular, but you don't have to use something else. Okay? And it is really easy to create, all right? So, for that end, we're going to use some tools. Well, to, to start off, we need a USB, okay? And the USB can be any size. Uh, the one I'm going to use is 16 gigabytes, which is gigabytes which is kind of way bigger, way bigger than, than we need. But this is the only one I have available for this. Okay, but if you have something smaller, like 8, 4, 2 even, it's going to work with no problem. So after uh, we have the, the USB connected, as you see, as, as you can see here, uh, what we are going to do is, uh, of course, you, what we, have, we are going to format this, hard, this USB you are going to lose everything here. And we are going to use uh, something called, uh, this tool is Rufus. So you can create it. I'm going to show you in a few seconds uh, the website and, and I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So this is the website. As you can see, it's, it, it only has the Rufus software and that's pretty much it. And the good thing about Rufus is that it's really light. You don't even have to install it. It's about one megabyte. You can install it if you want, obviously, but it's not necessary. So it's just an executable file. And here I had troubles looking for it. And you can see here, Rufus 3.5 and the, uh, the one that you don't have to install. So it's really easy to use. And um, of course you can also um, uh, um, burn images, well not burn images, create ISO files, bootable USBs and all that. So it's really useful. So then we are going to open the application, as you can see here, the name is DOS, the one I put it before, but it can be anything. So you are going to select it. It's going to select it by default because it's the only one that is connected on my computer. And then the other change is this one. Since we are not going to use an ISO, we are going to choose free DOS. And then the next step is going to be to use FAT32, which is by default selected and we're going to change it to 32 kilobytes, okay? Then it's going to be, again, it's going to be FAT32. FAT and the next is going to be a FAT format. Again, the, you're going to lose anything, on, or you, you're going to lose everything uh, on this uh, USB. And then you just click uh, Start or Next, and it's going to tell you, yeah, everything is going to be deleted from this USB. Be careful. Okay, we know that. And the process was really quick. In real time, it was less than 15 seconds. So I really didn't realize it had it has finished. And after that, uh, everything is done. And I'm going to open the computer. Well, my PC, I don't see it. I'm going to refresh. And there you go. There it is, the new USB bootable DOS. And I'm going to open it. And these three files are created by default. So that way you can boot DOS when you start a computer. And that's pretty much it. Well, I'm going to show you one more thing. Uh, after you have done this, um, you, ha you can copy anything to this file and it's going to be, and you will be able to run or execute it while running DOS. So for example, I'm going to create um, a text file, as you can see here, and I'm going to copy it. So let's say you want to up upgrade, update the BIOS version of a computer. The only thing you have to do is after you have created this bootable DOS USB drive, you just grab and drop the, uh, the exe file to this USB. And then you restart the computer, you, well, whatever, um, if you're using Dell, you have to press F12, 
to select the USB and then it's going to be booted from there. I'm going to do uh, another video in the coming days about how to use this. I'm actually going to use this USB and I'm going to app uh, to update the BIOS version of a Dell computer. It can be any other computer, but I kind of, uh, uh, I have more Dell computers available in my case. So, um, uh, and of course you can, if you want to see that, you can do it clicking in the link in the top right of this screen. So that's all what I wanted to show you today, guys. Uh, as you can see, this is, this is a really quick process. It's super fast. And then you can have the USB or you can create it whenever you need it. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any, uh, if you have any other comment or question, leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so by clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification for future videos. So thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.